Rodgers' performance in Buffalo wasn't great. We all know that. But did it cost him the MVP? Here's the question you have to ask yourself. Who's better? Aaron Rodgers statistically via pro football focus and the NFL's ranking system, still the number one quarterback in the league. You look at Tom Brady, even Tom Brady had a bad game. He played bad against Kansas City. Peyton Manning's not having the year he had last year. Andrew Luck's having a pretty good season. I don't know if he's ready to be named the MVP. J.J. Watt, many people say J.J. Watt could be considered for an MVP, but let's be honest, his team is 7-7, seven and seven, and he had a couple of sacks in the game this past weekend against Indianapolis, and they still didn't win the game. I think an MVP has to come off of a winning team, and I don't think the Houston Texans are ready to, ready to kind of claim that top spot yet. So who's better? DeMarco Murray? His numbers have slowed down since the first seven, eight games of the season. Ask yourself, who's better than Aaron Rodgers right now? If Aaron Rodgers bounces back and plays well against Tampa Bay and against Detroit, he's going to win the MVP. Packers are going to end up with 12 wins on the season after starting 1-2 and two on the season. And the majority of the reason is because of Aaron Rodgers and his arm. He's played an MVP type of season. Every quarterback has one or two bumps in the road, but it's what you do with the entire body of work. Now you just hope that he can, one, beat Tampa Bay and play well, put up some really solid numbers, and then beat another good defense in Detroit and put this team into the postseason. But Aaron Rodgers, I think still, right now, the way it stands, is the front runner for the NFL MVP. He's still the best quarterback in the league. One game doesn't make him bad. It just diminished a little bit of his season. Awesome.